Hey, what's up guys, it's Angel from Havix Gaming and today I'm very excited to tell you that PlayStation Blog has all the details for the new content update that is coming today, is gone starting today, June 6th. So we have a brand new trailer that I will be playing at the back and just reading some details that are in this blog post so you can get all the information you need in one video. So we got survival difficulty mode that starts today Actually, the update is right now live on PlayStation. It's around 16 gigabytes. So depending on your internet connection, it will take a while or not. So what changes are coming to survival difficulty mode? The enemies are harder. You can't bypass enemies or anything by using fast travel. There is an immersive HUD that removes enemy awareness and outlines. If you are missing your HUD, you can reactivate it temporarily by activating survival vision. In addition, you will get new bike skins and trophies that can only be acquired by playing and beating survival difficulty. So this is very good news. Juicy stuff for all of you that wanted a bigger challenge. And those trophies and skins really seem like a good addition for all of you completionists. Then we have the weekly challenges that start later in June, later, again, not an exact release date, we got new combat, bike, or horror challenges with unique rules and scoring modifiers. Doing well at challenges awards wearable patches that come with perks. Patches provide small gameplay improvements like increased health, faster stamina recharging, decreased focus cost, greater melee weapon durability, better gun accuracy from the bike, and more. Patch benefits stack and even carry back into the main game. Players also earn rank and credit to buy character skins, bike skins, and wearable rings that provide more potent gameplay perks to help players perform better at challenges. They say that you can carry back into the main game, so probably these free challenges are going to be available on a different menu, on a different screen, I don't know, maybe that's one thing, and probably we will get a new vendor at any of the camps that we have right now, so we can just exchange those credits and buy those skins. Some of the skins that are coming to the game are Deacon, Flashback Deacon, Shirtless Deacon, Boozer, Ricky, Addy, Iron Mike, and more. It would be awesome to have a Freaker skin that would be really, really, really good. The first gameplay challenge that's called Surrounded drops in late June, and players must survive an infinite horde onslaught in the town of Sherman's camp. They will be scored on how long they survive against not only Freakers, but a clock that is constantly ticking down. Killing Freakers adds more time so players can't run or hide, and they have to stay engaged in the fight to get the best score. They can also earn point multipliers by executing specific soft challenges like environmental kills, headshots, and collecting ears while on the run. No matter what type of challenge they're throwing at us, I will be bringing videos every week for you so you can have some ideas of how you can tackle them and get the challenges done by yourself. Well, that was it. Thank you for watching and start enjoying the game in survival difficulty.